Will? Oh, I'm the cat! Oh. Already a good start to this one. Meow, 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 <laughs> meow. Well, you're already doing a great cat simulator. Oh. Meow. Meow. I'm guessing we're teacup? Meow. I think we are. We're teacup. All right. Go teacup. Go teacup. Go teacup. Go. Welcome meow, back, meow, by the meow. way. Oh, yeah. Hi. Meow. Meow. Oh, no. Teacup. I'm alive. I'm alive. Sick. All right. Let's go. Teacup to the rescue. Let's fucking go. Uh, no. Get down. Okay. Down, teacup. Down. Down, teacup. Can teacup go Stop in a it. hole over there? It's so dark, you can't really tell. Oh, there we go. Alright. Teacup says, arise. Oh, shit. Oh, God. We're gonna need a lot. She's lie. probably not gonna be talking for a minute. Yeah, she's gonna definitely need some ointment for that. Mm -hmm. ah, some sorry. Some chapstick, Susan? He, like, bats it onto her face. Let's jump in. Jump in the line. Oh. Okay. I really don't know how we're gonna wake her up, but okay. Oh! Ooh, little, f little 3D action there. Okay. That was cool. No. No, oh, not you. Hey there. Gorgeous. I see my old lady brought the bleach. Again. What a shame. I really liked your eyes. <laughs> it could have been a start of something uh, very exciting for us if you know what well, i mean that's just a crying shame mm -hmm. she does that every single time what do they call it cheating trust issues <laughs> that's it you fucking asshole well never mind plenty more fish in the sea it's not trust I issues I'm not too if you're fussy. actively breaking her trust even i have some standards Ain't gonna touch a bird like you, I gotta be honest, girl. You look like shit. But I wouldn't want you to think I'm not a kind man. Mm. Uh, uh, plenty of time until dinner, and you're, you're in pain, so... I've, I've brought something to end your I suffering. <laughs> think of it as an option. I've got this gun here. <laughs> It's one of my favourites. There's just one bullet in the chamber. Large calibre. You'd you be long dead before you'd feel any pain. Why don't you test it Sounds out for me? Sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, why don't you go ahead and test it on yourself I mean, it's first? Ju just an idea, you know. No pressure. I'm actually waiting uh, for a dead body to respond. You can't see it. That bleach turned your eyes to nothing but jelly. <laughs> so I'll just leave it for you here. Feel free to use it. That that bullet's meant for you anyway. <laughs> you stupid. What is this guy? I better go now. We won't want to get caught red-handed again, would we? You fucking you naughty minx. What is a minx? Is it an animal? What was that? I believe so. All right, future Dylan, just like the other time, put the picture of a minx up. It better not be gross. <laughs> oh, what did you expect? I hope not. I doubt it is. Life's a real fucker sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes I... you play the piano for your cats, and someone calls pest control, and pest control tries to, Oop. you know, take all your cats and yeah, they... hold you captive, and someone throws bleach in your eyes because they've got an unloyal husband. That old chestnut. Oh, yeah. Typical Tuesday. Swallow the key? All right. Okay. Teacup, no! Oh! Ooh. <sighs> Smart little kitty. I'm gonna shove this thing up my butt. <laughs> 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 I guess we're gonna just leave the way we came. Hopefully you don't see me. Oh, fuck! Okay, he would definitely see me. I gotta wait till he polishes his knob. Are you gonna... Okay, that would go. Whoop! Okay, phew! Good job, Teacup! Yay, Teacup! He's got that little prancy prance. I was about to say something. Look at his little trot. Oh, come on, Teacup! The hole. 
Okay, so... <sighs> Fuck, okay. Well, it was really... It would be really cool. Well... What if Teacup was, like, the queen of maggots, but, like, watching over her in some way? Dude, that'd be fucking wild. You know how, like, in, if you've seen Cor- You've seen Coraline. Yeah. How the- Yeah, the cat comes with her and is, like, her voice of reason to protect her. Oh, yeah, yeah, If you geez. saw the movie, there was that YB guy, but in the book, it's just the cat. Oh, in the book, it's just the cat? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've never read the book. What? Who's this? My eyes. I can't. I can't see a thing. That bitch. A key. Who are you? Say something. Anything. I. I should be able to unlock the handcuffs now. I thought the cat was gonna meow, so I like <laughs> open smiled at like tornado, but it didn't say anything. I guess I gotta walk around. A gun. Take that shit. Take it. I guess. Oh. Uh, no! No, no, no! I dropped it! I heard someone yelling in it? here. Where the hell is it? <laughs> Just ruins yeah, let me it. Say that louder. I dropped the gun, I can't see! I'm extremely vulnerable right now! <laughs> I've got it. I guess I have to. F yeah, shoot myself so I can. I'm sorry, Mitzi. What? I have to break my promise. I think the only way to completely heal is to kill yourself. Because when she woke up, she was like, when she, after she died, she didn't. She was fine. It just says game over. <laughs> <laughs> womp womp. Oh fuck! Was I really not supposed to do that? How? My yeah, fucking eyes so were Dylan, jelly. Yeah, guns don't heal you in this game. Well, yeah, but it, you're immortal. You're supposed to use the gun on the guy. Wow. What the oh. fuck? Mitzi? Maybe Why are you I'm a liar. Hope you don't mind creepy posters. I really thought it's she said creepy room. pastas. You can do what you like with it, but I definitely prefer this to fairies, rainbows, and pink unicorns. Did you make these? No. My boyfriend made them. Some of them, anyway. So, Miss Ashworth, I happen to have a bottle of wine in my bag. I was going to leave it to Robert, but I forgot all about it. Robert? The guy with the rats? <laughs> oh, yes. Of Rat course. wine. So, shall we have a drink, then? We could get to know each other a bit more. I know, I promise I won't get in the way. And, I mean, you don't have to if you don't feel like it. But since we're gonna live together for a little while, it won't hurt if we talk to each other, will it? Uh, are you sure you can drink in your condition? Are you sure you can drink in your condition? It won't make me any worse, that's for sure. I'm not on any cancer medication. I feel good. The way I see it, I haven't got much time left, so I might as well make the most of it. That makes sense, I suppose. We can have a drink if you like. Great! I'll bring the wine. Let's get crunk! Damn. It's one of those bottles with a cork. Have you got a bottle opener, Miss Ashworth? Why, yes! In the kitchen. I'll go get Ah, I remember two yes, episodes please. ago. And while you're there, could you get a couple of glasses too? And we know where to find those too. Yes, we do. So you'll find the glasses. I think in the cabinet, cabinet right? There. Take the wine glasses, you stupid bitch. It's gotta feel good to have someone over for wine after not using those for a long time. Oh, I bet it's fun to dust them off. Uh, I am so sorry. <laughs> That was pretty foul. I apologize. Oh, no. All right, let's get crunk. Let's get crazy. Let's get nuts. Let's get wild. Let's get me to. Have you found that corkscrew yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We also need some wine glasses. Yeah, we got them both. Really want 
want the wine glasses first? I found some wine glasses. Wait. Why are we both standing here like this? <laughs> this is how you talk to people. This is. There you go. Mm -hmm. Let's get that bottle open. Let's get oh, shit faced. That's all we need. Oh, and Miss Ashworth, I really must say this before we start. Yeah. I promise I won't cut your throat when you're asleep. Very funny, Mitzi. Yay! Oh, no, I need her. it. <laughs> That's fine. That so means they're friends. They're always with my eyes open. <laughs> that was a weird transition. I love that Windows yeah. esque transition. Sorry. How are you planning to find this guy? I don't know yet. A bit of detective work, perhaps. It shouldn't be that hard, really. There are only eight apartments here. One is yours. That leaves us with seven. I was hoping that you could give me a hand, actually. You know some of your neighbors, don't you? Not many. I never really cared about them. They changed over the years, too. You've probably also figured by now that this is not the sort of place where new neighbors are greeted with a freshly baked cake. You see a new face, you give them a blank stare as you pass them in the hall, and you forget about them a minute later. That bad, eh? Well, that is how I kind of go about our living situation. I was thinking that too. I was like, he I don't really talk to him to him No, I don't either. He's a nasty piece of work, but I really don't think he's the person you're looking for. We've had nice neighbors. We do have nice neighbors. We are kind. No, we've had nice neighbors. I think he's a train yeah. driver. We're not like we dicks. Yeah, we're not assholes. <laughs> but just I typically don't have like conversations. I'm usually... I'm all about my destination. You know... Maybe not tonight. Let's just talk about something else, okay? I have plenty of time. There's no need to rush this. Maybe tomorrow we could sit down together and make a plan. I could draw a simple map of the building and with your help, mark down who lives where. Sounds good to me, Mitzi. Oh, it's not raining anymore. Oh well, I don't mind rain. Sometimes I even like it. I like the rain too. I love when it rains. Forecast, there's a nasty fog coming. Now that I'm actually scared of. I got lost in a fog once when I was just nine or ten. Ooh, that actually sounds pretty scary. Yeah. I remember I sat under a tree crying, thinking some monster would appear right in front of me and drag me away. But now that you're a big girl, you know there are no monsters. Yeah? How do you know? Sorry, you're gonna hear me cracking my fingers. I apologize. <laughs> the only monsters are Ew. Us. murderers, Ew. rapists, arsonists. They're the real beasts. So far from humanity, they're no longer capable of feeling compassion or guilt. They're the ones we should really be afraid of. But whether they're lurking in the woods or fog or the darkness of our cellars, it's all irrelevant. You can't predict what happens. You can't do anything to stop it. There is only one way. You turn into a beast yourself. And like them, you show no mercy. Whoa! Where did that come from, Miss Ashworth? I just don't like murderers. They're nothing but... Parasites. So are we gonna talk about the little makeshift scarecrow, or what? You don't, she's like, you don't talk about Mrs. Volleyball Head. She's, you don't talk. <laughs> you want to talk? Want to talk about it? <laughs> so, the big C. Want to talk about it? Well, to be honest, I didn't really want to tell you about it like that. I put you in a very difficult position, I know. It's just that I was really desperate to get this room. I hope you can understand. This is the last and most important thing I must do before my time is up. It's fine. You seem all right. It's just... I find it hard to trust people these days. Maybe it's time I opened my eyes to see others have problems too. Some, like yourself, even bigger than mine. What kind of cancer is it? Do you mind me asking? Brain tumor. Her name is Cleoblastoma. Ha <laughs> Yep, they're all girls, the way I imagine it. Just look at their names. 
lymphoma, melanoma, myeloma, leukemia, sarcoma. Each of them a fucking goddess of death, beautiful and ruthless. Hmm, you might just be right about that, Mitzi. I used to be a nurse. I know a few things about cancer. And I know glioblastoma. She's a real bitch. Yeah, and yet she gets to be the prom queen before night ends while I disappear down the back exit. How long? They said I had a year. But that was six months ago, so... Yeah. Not awfully long. Is there anything... They've tried. I'm sorry. Yeah. So am I. Do you want to talk about something else? You yeah, mentioned let's. your boyfriend. <laughs> Tell me something about him. Yeah, okay. Let's talk about him. His name's Jack. He's dead. Yeah. Lovely blow. Oh. Yeah, he burned down Ashworth, in a pizzeria. Are you sure you want to listen about my miserable <laughs> life? I don't want to bring you down. These aren't happy stories. And I'm not a happy stories kind of person. I'm sure you've noticed by now. I guess so. Anyway, I suppose I would have had to tell you about Jack sooner or later. After all, he is the main reason I'm here. I just... don't know where to start. Tell me how you two met. Oh, we knew each other for like, forever. We grew up on the same street. It's funny how we seem to be made for each other. Perfect match. I always knew he was the guy for me and I'm sure he never doubted that either. Jack was absolutely crazy about me. We thought one day we would marry, have children, be happy. I never had many friends because I had Jack need anybody else. You know, if there's one thing I'm really grateful for in my life, it's that I got to experience this pure, perfect love. Some people go through a lifetime without knowing how it feels. I guess I've been very lucky. But all luck runs out sometimes. How did he take the news about your cancer? He thought I was joking at first. He laughed. Then he got really angry. I swore to him I was serious, but he still wouldn't believe me. We had a big fight that night. It was our first and only fight. It was awful. How dare you get cancer? His guitar, of all things, was the worst. He loved that guitar. Why did he break it? He was absolutely furious. He walked out on me that night, and when he came back the next day, he was different. He begged me to try surgery and chemotherapy. I didn't really want those things, but I did the chemo for him. It didn't help. It just made me feel sick all the time. I felt trapped in this strange place where nothing that happened around me seemed real. Maybe that's why I didn't see what my cancer was doing to Jack, and it was destroying him as well. changed. He became obsessed with death. It seemed death was all he ever thought about, even though it was me, not him, who was supposed to die. Jack made those pictures on your wall. Was he an artist? He always liked all kinds of morbid stuff, whether it was music, movies, paintings. So do I, really. We had that in common, amongst other things. People say it's depressing to listen to sad songs or watch sad films, but I never felt that way. And yet, you are scared of fog? Well, that's different. I might be scared of fog, but I like spiders. They're beautiful. You they must be, be out of your mind, the Mitzi. Little fuzzy ones. No, honestly. Little fuzzy ones? Oh, yeah. certain indescribable beauty and sadness. I don't like the Just real like leggy ones. And ugly don't care for those. Except Daddy Long Legs. Notice what others can't Not scared see. of those. You must love my apartment then. It's like ugly took a vacation here and never went home again. How did he die? How did Jack die? 
Oh yeah, he outlived her. Yeah. Or no, he didn't. She lived out. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Great. It's okay. We all know what you meant. What I didn't know was that he kept looking for something. I don't think he even knew what exactly. But it eventually found him. Or rather, he found him. There are those forums online, you know? About all sorts of stuff. Fishing, computer games, horses, gambling, addictions. Everything, really. Accidentally, Jack stumbled upon one about suicide. There's a guy there. Calls himself the Eye of Adam. He's a fucking god on that forum. It's like a failed suicide club. People mostly try to help each other and offer support. Sometimes it just helps to know there are others like you. To listen to their stories and, and how they cope with their lives. But the Eye of Adam is an advocate of death. He dwells on human weakness. His job is to plant an idea. To give them a reason to die and tell them how to do it. Once and for good. Jack took the bait. Before he knew he was completely brainwashed. One day he sat down with me and tried to explain his perfect solution. It was the Romeo and Juliet kind of scenario. We were both to die together in each other's arms. It was supposed to be a quick and foolproof death. There was no chance we would have been saved. All thanks to the eye of Adam, who created a tool for perfect suicide. He told me it was very simple. All we needed were two easily accessible household chemicals which combine together create gas called hydrogen sulfide that kills you within a couple of minutes. I told him he was fucking nuts, of course. But he just wouldn't give up. He reasoned with me, then he begged, and eventually just kept screaming at me. I figured it was his crazy idea of a modern romance, but it was downright tacky and just wrong. Finally, he said he would get everything ready and wait for me in our special place at dawn. Five in the morning. Don't be late. Those were his last words he said to me. Then he stormed out. I cried for hours, thinking I, I didn't deserve all that from the person I loved most in the whole world. A few times I even tried to persuade myself that maybe he was right and I should do it. But I just couldn't. I eventually fell asleep. I didn't plan it. My head was killing me. I was so tired. I woke up suddenly. I could see the sun rising out my window. It was nearly five. In utter panic, I threw myself off the bed and ran out the door. I needed to stop him. I needed to get there before it was too late. I got right there in my bedroom. Before I even left. When I arrived at our special place, it was already bright. We used to go there in the past, drink wine, sometimes smoke weed and listen to Pink Floyd, sometimes Pizza. make love in Jack's car. <laughs> there wasn't really anything special about that old parking lot. But to us there was. It was completely abandoned. It was quiet. It was safe. After that day, I've never gone there again. Oh, now we can play. Well, not gonna like what we're about to find. Something I really like, though, about how Mitzi is designed is you can't really see her eyes. It's like she's permanently anonymous. I love that about her. Uh -huh. So we went through with it without her. I'm so sorry. Damn, dude. I think now I understand. He loved you so much, he couldn't bear the thought of living without you. And that guy, the Eye of Adam. I'm not surprised you want to find him. I know I would. I'm not sure if I should believe that you only want to talk to him. But hey, that's none of my business. I wouldn't know what I'd do if this happened to me. Good to know, but I really just want to talk. 
I want to face Jack's killer and tell him what he's done to me. You know, the funny part is, he actually told me where he lives. He wants to meet me. Would you believe that? How come? Well, this kind of thing he does is called trolling on the internet. It's usually a form of extreme bullying, psychological cruelty. Those who are clever enough say, don't feed the troll. Don't talk to them. It, it only makes it worse if you show any interest in them at all. And I of Adam is no exception. He craves attention. He's a hungry troll who wants to devour as many hearts as he can get a hold of. I emailed him and told him I was a massive fan who loves his work. He wouldn't believe me at first. But trolls are always hungry. And I was prepared to serve him a meal fit for a king. What do you mean? I fed him so much bullshit that he really believed I'm a suicide preacher just like him. Great. I wish he'd given you his door number, though. It's all a part of some sick game he's playing. Sooner or later, I'll find him. There were signs on the car windows. Warning signs, yeah. I found on that forum that the Eye of Adam doesn't want any accidental deaths. So we posted this poster design for people to print. It turns out there's a whole sick ideology behind it. Fumes from the car could hurt anyone who opens the door, and that's not the point. The idea is to die willingly and with clear minds, to prepare for it, to embrace it. Jesus. You'd think the police would investigate the whole thing. It sounds almost like a sect. This guy knows how to hide. The police can't be bothered to make an effort. It took me three months to track him down. Now I'm finally so close. I can almost smell that fucker. What if he's just also on his balcony on the floor above them? Like, <laughs> oh shit! What are those two chemical products? <laughs> well, I... I'm not sure if you want to know that. I get it. You don't want to tell me because I'm a fucking suicidal maniac. Is that it? No, Ms. Ashworth. No, I, I didn't mean it like that. Maybe to some extent. Just replace maniac with victim and fucking with recovering. You've only just come back from the hospital. Whatever it was that made you do it, you proved you are capable of going through with it. I don't know you long enough to tell you if you're completely over it now. And the last thing I want is to give you stupid ideas. It would be just like what the Eye of Adam does. I would never forgive myself if anything happened to you because of me. I mean... How could I? I've learnt my lesson. Dying is not for me. I'd really like to believe you, Miss Ashworth. But I will need you to promise me that you will never try this method. Alright. I can promise you that I will never try this method. Or any other method, for that matter. Been there, done that. Didn't enjoy it much. Do you believe me now? Yeah. I think I do. Good. I'm glad you said that, you know. The recipe for this deadly cocktail is very simple. Any good housewife can make it in a blast. Whoop! I like how the story is going back and forth, tying these two parts together. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And well, I think before we make that cocktail, we got to step, we got to... Wow, what a good place to take a pause here. Exactly. We're going to brush up on our... I think oh, we God. could use a drink of water after all this. That's what I'm saying. What the hell is it called when you're like a bar like a bartender? Not Cosmo... You know that word? Like mixologist? Is that it? Or... I almost said barista, but I'm I almost sure did too. That's coffee. I think mixologist. Bartender. Mixologist. Like someone who like plays around with like drinks and shit. Mixologist is the word. Yep. We're gonna brush up on our mixology. So before we do that and get on with uh, the fixins. Oh oh oh, Susan. God damn. Ooh, Look, at go. Look at her go. Look at her go. Look at her go. She's got. <laughs> she's got a fucking pep on her step. Well, we'll see you guys later.